Welcome back to Jesse at Home. This video is near and dear to my heart as we are getting this room from my husband's office space into a nursery for baby boy that is due June 29th. Um, so I figured we kick off a baby watch his birth month of June with the nursery reveal. So this room is on the main floor. It is right next to our master bedroom. We have a door connecting to the master bedroom, but we also have a door that connects right into the entryway. So when we decided to replace all of the flooring in the main um, public levels of the house, the living room, the dining room, and the entryway, we decided to bring the hard laminate flooring right on into this room as well. We decided to change it out with um, LL flooring, Delaware Bay driftwood laminate flooring. And we really, really, really like it. We like the quality. It was very affordable um, so far. We love it. I mean, we've only had it for a couple months now. But um, my husband and our best friends helped us out a ton with all the demolition and installation. So big shout out to them, especially since I'm pregnant and I really couldn't get down there and lay flooring. I was so sad about it, but I can paint, I can do other things, but I could not get on my knees and get up and down like that off the floor anymore being in third trimester. So I really, really, really do appreciate all their help. They really helped us push through and get the dining room and the entryway and baby's room done for us.
we are just starting out painting the room um, agreeable gray by Sherwin Williams the same color that is through the main floors of the house this back wall that I'm currently painting is going to be the feature wall it's going to be a lot of fun um, I'll show you that down the line but I just wanted everything to have a fresh like clean slate start so I did paint the ceiling I did paint all the walls all the trim the doors everything like that just so it could have a fresh clean look So, all the painting is done. In here, new ceiling, new trim, new doors, all the quarter round, new floor registers. Um, we are actually going to be replacing all of the switches. We're replacing all of the switches and outlets and the grill in here because they were all kind of like rusty and old. We are also replacing this guy just because it's not really my style. So we're gonna be doing it, replacing it with like a modern looking white one, the same one I used up in my upstairs office. We did end up re-gifting this ceiling fan. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It just didn't fit the vibe that I wanted in here. So we ended up giving it to a family member that um, really liked it and wanted an upgrade in their own home. So it's, you know, anything that we take down in our house um, that's still in really, really, like really good shape, we either donate or try to sell or, you know, we just don't throw it away. So I know a lot of you are worried that I'm just wasting money or throwing things away, but no, we always donate what what's in good shape. If it's not in good shape, then we do toss it or try to upcycle it or do something like that. But um, for the most part if it's in good shape we send it along to someone else who will love it Since the nursery doesn't actually have a closet, I really, really wanted to get this IKEA wardrobe. And it's so perfect for the space. It's tiny, it doesn't take up too much room. It has hanging space, it has a shelf. Um, I'm really, really happy that we went and took the trip to go get it. And we ended up getting some money from our baby shower. So basically, we really didn't have to pay anything for it. Um, 
you know, through the generosity of people, we got a closet that I wanted for baby. So I cannot wait to hang up all his little clothes in there. It's going to be so cute and extra storage in here. So like I said, since we did decide to do the hard flooring in here, I wanted to put a giant rug. This this room is quite small, um, but it is a nursery size or a small office size. So um, I just wanted to vacuum and do a big mop because it's, I'm not going to be pulling this rug up very often. Um, to clean under it so I just wanted to have a clean space. I ended up getting this rug pad off of Amazon as well as the big rug that's coming as well just because it's easier for me to order and have it delivered than try and go to shops and lug things around being so pregnant. But I just wanted some extra padding for baby because of tummy time and playing around in here so um, that's why I went with the thicker rug pad underneath and it's so soft underfoot um, and honestly the majority of the room now is this rug so it's like um, protects the hardwood floors it protects the baby on the floor and um, I like how dark it is that way in case any spit ups or um, stains or whatever I'm not too worried about it the only thing I have to worry about is the white lines but I just absolutely love this rug I think it's so cute and fits the theme perfectly So here is the deal. <laughs> I bought this really expensive wallpaper mural. It was four panels. It was supposed to go on this wall. It was supposed to be done this weekend. I finally did it after waiting three weeks for the paint to cure. And it's a peel and stick wallpaper. Um, I rolled it out to see the panels. One, two, three, four. My husband steps over it and rips um, two of the panels. But we went with it, tried to hang it up anyway, tried to work with it. It was not working, uh, so we tore it down. And we're going to try something different. I'm a little upset because I could have got this done three weeks ago if I decided to paint it. So I'm going to try and attempt to create my own wall mural right back here. Because I just, the whole point was the rest of the walls are beige. This will be the feature wall. And it would be fun and bright and exciting. Um, and now we're just gonna see how it goes. Sorry guys for the focus. It just did not want to focus when I was painting this wall back here. I tried to cut out as much as I could, but um, I didn't want to totally cut out the satisfaction of seeing this wall get painted because I just love um, painting time lapse. I don't know something about it, like seeing it, a wall go from one color or a room go from one color to another. So I try to keep in as much as possible. Very. 
very happy with how this color turned out. I love it. Now it's time to go pick up the colors to do the galaxy part. I just want to hold you. I honestly had no idea what I was doing and I also had focus problems when I was um, trying to paint the mural as well so it's kind of cut up a little bit but basically I just got some acrylic paints in blue different very various shades of blue teal purple even had some yellow in there and I was just trying to figure out what look I was going for I just used a foam roller some acrylic paint from um, Walmart the 87 cent ones that you find in the craft area and I just went to town just blending colors so it looked more like a nebula not like a normal like galaxy solar system type thing I was going for more of a um, just gas and um, clouds and, and fading and just kind of an abstract look which is actually quite hard to do and it doesn't really come across well on camera because I have that um, window directly across. So as you can see, it's just this bright blinding light right in the middle of the wall. Um, but in the end, I just kind of manipulated and figured it out and um, eventually came to a spot where I was like, okay, I'm done. Because you always have to do that, especially with abstract stuff. You have to eventually put the paintbrush away, walk away and say, you know what? This is done. This is done because otherwise you could be there forever just adding and, and just messing with it. So I just eventually had to walk away and I really, really love it even though it doesn't really capture, um, what it looks like in real life on camera just because of the light hitting it. I just want to look into your eyes You know you make me feel like I'm alive Once the mural was done, we could finally put all the finishing touches together. We could put the crib together because I didn't want to put the crib together before we were done with that feature wall. So we, I was so excited. The crib was the like first big purchase that I made and it's just been sitting in a box for months and months and months. And um, I'm just so happy to finally be putting this room together so that I can nest, I can organize, I can do all the things and get ready for baby. Because like I said, baby watch, baby is due June 29th. So um, the next couple of videos is me getting my house clean and prepped and organized and decluttering spaces and just really deep cleaning this house. So if you love cleaning motivation and, and you want to see me prep for baby and everything that I'm going to be doing, definitely hit that subscribe subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my uploads and to my heart I cannot lie stars made of stars above to breathe dreams of green and filled with bliss life is so much more than this so where do you go when nothing's like Now I know that they're not supposed to have any blankets in the crib, but this crib transforms into a toddler bed. So for now, I just hung the quilt over there and of course I'll just pack it away and then when he's ready for his big boy toddler bed, he can use the quilt with that and it'll still match the theme. So that's why I ended up getting a crib set versus just a bunch of crib sheets because um, I saw it, I liked it, I wanted it, and I didn't know if they would have it in two years or not. Just be gone, sun under the sun. I'll be fine, and you'll be gone when nothing's like.
I love the little rocket ship lamp and um, if you guys did watch my baby shower video my pup pup didn't know like the theme of the nursery but he got him a little rocket ship pillow um, my, my baby shower was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and so he did get a, um, a rocket ship pillow which I thought was so cute um, so it kind of matched everything and I was really really excited um, to just go crazy with all of the spacing things my husband and I are huge nerds so we love any kind of spaceship sci-fi anything like that so even if this um, little boy decides that he prefers trucks and um, like dinosaurs or whatever down down the line he can definitely choose the theme of his room but for now I just thought um, this would be a really fun little boys little babies uh, room to kind of grow up uh, grow up in until he decides what he likes I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy This is going to be my little mommy corner over here. We're going to put his little bookshelves up and um, I have my boppy and then the little pillow says once upon a time. I found that at the dollar um, target dollar spot. I do think I am going to get a little lamp for this corner and maybe maybe a little table underneath the bookshelves with a small little lamp with like um, a USB charger on it for my phone you know when I'm in here doing feedings and readings and things like that um, so I, even though it's like we're done with the nursery there's still some things that I'm probably gonna tweak as I use it you know you don't really know a space until you're in there using it so I'm just trying to set it up in a way that I think I'm going to use it but I can already tell that I think I'm gonna want a little table over here to put my water and um, like I said like charge my phone or whatever I might need to do in here definitely need a little reading lamp over here I think and you took my hand, said, let's leave now. Don't want to be shy. Okay, here is the finished product and I am so excited about it. We have these navy blue curtains with the shears, with the silver stars. We have my little feeding corner 
and book reading area. I got this um, shelves from Amazon in a two pack. Those books were from Friends from the Baby Shower. This little picture I also got from Amazon. It's in a three set. One's over here, two are over on the um, changing area. I got my glider off of Amazon as well. The rug from Amazon. That little basket down there I got for my baby shower. Um, this little Target pillow and boppy. This room doesn't have a closet, so I wanted to get an Ikea wardrobe. Um, and I got these. These were for my baby shower. This is from Amazon as well. And I will do a whole organizing baby clothes and things in a future video. This rug is also from Amazon. We did want to bring the hardwood or the um, laminate flooring in here, but I did want a big, massive rug for tummy time and for playing and something that was a little bit more cushiony. As you guys saw, I struggled with the wallpaper and mural thing, but I think it ended up turning out really nice. I really like it. Um, I think it complements the room well. I think he's really going to enjoy it. I am going to be putting his name above his crib um, after um, he's born. This crib I actually got on a very like midnight flash sale steal. I got it for $99 and normally it's like $350. It's a Baby Leto Hudson convertible crib. It's actually quite short which is good for me because I am a short mama. And then of course I have the bedding set and I know obviously when he goes in there you don't have to put the pillow in there and he doesn't get the blanket. But this also transfor transforms into a toddler bed so the quilt will work when he is a toddler in the same space. This is a little space mobile and it, it, it does music when you crank it. Um, and I just love the gray star crib sheet. I got this a little basket hamper for his clothes on Amazon and of course the diaper pail. This dresser I actually got from Amazon as well. I got everything from Amazon. I'm pregnant. I get everything delivered. Um, those are the other two pictures as well that goes with the other one from Amazon. We have the changing pad that's secure and a uh, washable, I have a bunch of those, so a washable changing pad cover. This little lamp over here, this little rocket ship lamp, and of course baby is right here. And I love kind of how modern looking this dresser is. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing a whole organization of the dresser and changing station and everything um, in an upcoming video. So totally thrilled with how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video and watching me go through this long journey of getting this nursery done. Um, you know, it all started with an idea and it took quite a while to pull it all together, but I am so happy with it and I know he's going to have a lot of fun in here and we're going to make great memories in here. We're officially on baby watch, so definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And if you love like getting ready for baby and decluttering and deep cleaning and just a ton of motivation coming at you this month, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out and hit the notification bell because um, YouTube sometimes doesn't want to um, let you guys know when my videos come out. So hopefully when everyone has a great um, week and I will see you next week with some organization, decluttering, and deep cleaning.
Bye.